The chimp paradox is looking at different systems in the brain which um, we're in control of or not in control of uh, and then learning to get them on side and if we don't get them on side then they can be one of the worst enemies we've got. So the paradox is the system is actually there to be managed and we can either manage it or mismanage it and the paradox is it'll be great or it'll be awful and it can flick. For me, when I work with people to help them to understand themselves is first understand the structure of the mind and what it will and won't do, and then the rules of how to operate it. If they can grasp that, then they're running a machine effectively in the way they want it to run. Being angry is a message from the brain to say that something is amiss and you have to get down to working it out and coming up with a solution. So any form of emotion is a message from the brain. We need to understand what the message is saying. If we reflect on things, then the parts of our brain which actually are more rational uh, and, and logically based will start to input their sort of expertise into the situation. Whereas if we just stay with emotion and react to that emotion, then we tend to not do things the way we want them to. One of the strong points with the chimp uh, model was to say that we're 100% accountable for managing the inner chimp. Uh, we're not responsible for the nature of it, so there's a difference. We're not responsible for the nature of how we're built, but we are 100% responsible for managing the chimp. It's not an excuse model. Pressure is a subjective experience. So one person's pressure is somebody else's challenge or even somebody else's indifference. So we have to look and say what is causing us to interpret a pressure and what can we do to manage that, whether it's business or sport, it's again about getting insights into what the feeling is giving us an action to do. When I use the mind management with people on a one-to-one -one basis or even in groups, three key things I'd ask them to do is one is reflection. If we don't reflect, then we tend to run on chimp mode all the time and we don't recognise it. So reflection is one. And then to actually discuss what they've reflected, often with somebody else, because by speaking neuroscientifically, we're putting it out there and we can then make sense of it. And we need to do that. And finally, to have plans. You know, don't just sit with whatever you've worked out, say, how do we now activate this to get what I want?